Okay, that was impressive. However, I don't think that counts. Okay, as many of you might be aware, Hafthor Bjornsson just pulled 501 kilograms in the deadlift. Uh, that's one kilo over Eddie Hall's uh, world record in 2016. Uh, and there's been a lot of controversy between Eddie Hall and Hafthor Bjornsson and other strongmen who have gave their opinion on the topic if whether or not this lift actually counts as an official world record or not. Uh, and my thoughts is that it doesn't. Uh, and here's the thing, I get that it takes a long time to pick someone, especially uh, someone of that level, like, like Thor, to pull something like this, and he was already going to pull this. Uh, he had already planned this, and I know he was capable, we, we all knew he was capable of pulling this, and, and honestly much more. Uh, however, if Strongman starts allowing uh, this kind of world records to be uh, done in home gyms, although, it, I mean, I guess, I'm, I guess, I know that this was with calorie plates, they weighed the plates, they had a, an appeal of judge, the whole thing was live, so, it's, it's not like a, like a typical gym PR, it's not a gym PR. However, it's not a competition. You don't have other athletes who are competing at the same time. You don't have uh, environmental factors. I mean, he was in his hometown, in his home gym, his, his actual gym, you know. Uh, the gym he trains a lot of the time. Uh, he was kind of at his pace. Uh, there were not our competitors. There were not a yeah, full stadium of people watching like it happened with Eddie Hall. Uh, and all of the things influence uh, the rates of which uh, your success is likely going to be. You know, uh, anyone who has competed in the past, either powerlifting, strongman, weightlifting, in any case, you know that competition has uh, things that are unpredictable, uh, and these factors were not a thing for Thor, you know. Still, don't get me wrong, I think this is one of the most impressive feats of strength we will ever see until Thor pulls more again. But I don't think it really matters, you know. Uh, Thor is obviously in his prime, he's 31 years old, he has a lot of time in front of him to even get better. And for what we saw today, well, if you're seeing the video later, it's not today, uh, but from what we saw for the 501, he has more in the tank, and given he will have more years and time to practice this, I'm pretty sure this is not a big, a big deal, because he's going to pull this in competition no matter what. I mean, unless he injures or something else happens, the man is able to pull more, and he will pull more. And that's basically my opinion on the topic. I know everyone's giving their thoughts, so might as well give mine. Uh, and I'm going to get back into informative things in the future, but I just wanted to touch on this topic because it's just a huge thing for, for the strength world in general, you know? Whether you're a bodybuilder, weightlifter, powerlifter, or whatever the case may be, alright? So I'll see all of you in the next video. Thanks for watching.